We're going to play a little game here of right. You Only Knew, all right? I just okay. threw things at you. Love it. Okay, Johnny, who was the first girl you ever kissed? Annie B. I'll leave it at that. But, uh, I don't want to use her full name. You still know her? No, but I do know. I was kind of using Annie at the time, at 11 years old, to get to her friend Blythe, who I oh. do still know, who I actually just visited in Indianapolis for her birthday. So it worked Ooh. out. Thank you, Annie. Blythe so, and I both thank you. But now Annie knows that you did this, huh? I don't think Annie. I'm sure Annie is living a very happy life. <laughs> Best piece of advice With you With a ever. much better kisser than I was at 11. <laughs> Best piece of advice you ever got? Uh, never trust a turning signal, my father used to tell me. <laughs> I think he meant that both literally and metaphorically. It was great Biggest advice. jokester on the set of Big Bang. Simon Helberg. He can't help it. He's just fast. He's funny. It's how his mind works. You don't have to wind him up or turn him on. Does the cast break up a lot? Does the cast break you up? Break up oh, no, no. Kunal does, but ironically at his own jokes. <laughs> Song currently playing on your iPod. Oh, I love that Aloe Black album. I've been, I think it came out like 10 months ago, but that's all I've been listening to. It's fantastic. Thing you'd change about the world. Currently? Uh, we gotta, think we got to figure out the same sex marriage thing. Being, what happened in Alabama last month is just oh, absurd. It's just, I don't, underst I don't understand it all. That judge, what was he Roy called? Moore? Yeah. I mean, so he literally, help me understand, he literally said, he, he ordered ruling. the state judges to ignore the, the federal Court. court's ruling. On, that makes no, that, if you and I were walking on the beach, as you and I often do, it's, let's say like marijuana was legalized and we decided to smoke a little joint. I don't smoke, but I hear you have good stuff. So in this case, <laughs> you and I have, and a police officer on a bicycle comes up and snatches it away from us and throws it out and handcuffs us and detains us because he doesn't personally like it. <laughs> he would be it's arrested. Crazy. He would at least lose his job. I don't understand, I don't well, understand that's how that's okay. That thinks the Ten Commandments was in the Constitution. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Biggest flirt on the set of The Big Bang Theory. Oh, wow. I'm a, I like to flirt. All right, that's I good. Have to Are you married? But I'm not, I don't discriminate. I flirt with everybody. Are you married? No. So you can flirt with them. What was your worst audition? Oh, wow. You know what I do often, and it drives my agent crazy? I'll go in and tell them who what other actor would be really good for the role. <laughs> I really don't have a competitive streak at all. You don't have to audition anymore, do you? Well, sure. It depends now? on the project. It depends on... Well, I mean, I've proven myself as a physicist, but I haven't proven myself as a cowboy or whatever the, 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 the new role might... And I, I've always liked reading. It's an opportunity. If you're not desperate for next month's rent, it's an opportunity to go in and perform for three minutes. You've got it people. made now, so... Well, it's great when you don't need the role, right? So when you're not desperate, auditioning can be, be fun. Otherwise, it's an awful process. What's the biggest thing you've ever splurged on? Wow. Things in which I've set up friends and family. I don't require much, and I'm not very materialistic, so. Me oh. too. Oh. Uh, guilty pleasure. Hmm. Datelines. <laughs> I watch a lot of Dateline. You watch all the Dateline? You like those stories of the guy leaving his and wife? It really and just, that's it. It should just be called, cabin. you know, did she have a husband or a boyfriend? That's pretty much the end of the show. That's, the guy that's, who does probably, the that's usually he, the guy. The guy with the white hair. He's always oh, yes. serious. Morrison. Keith Morrison, yeah. right? Yes. I and love then, his reading. <laughs> it's like stories, <laughs> that, like fireside chats. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, show we'd be surprised to hear that you watch. Well, hmm, I just gave that one up. Um, yeah, that's, I watch a lot of news shows. I watch a lot of six, I think when you work in, like, it's not relaxing for me to come home from work and watch a sitcom, you know? So yeah. I, I, and I can't read nonfiction, or I can only read nonfiction when I'm working too. I think it's just too much fantasy, too many characters in my head. What keeps you up at night? Oh man, I, I struggle with a lot of, anxiety and, so and insomnia. Uh, you do? Yeah, yeah, I always have since I was probably eight years old. So. Take Ambien or something? No, that stuff scares the heck out of me. So I, I just get up and pace it off, but it can be anything, and you know, like they say, what's, what's stressing you out today, you won't remember two weeks ago, so it can be any. any so what does an insomniac do at three in the morning? I pace, I just pa I pace. I pace circles in my rug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to get the energy out and then hopefully get down for a few more hours.
Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.